Bats become more active in late summer. Baby bats are born in June and start learning to fly in July and August. Bats mate in September and start seeking hibernation sites in October. You should always protect yourself by wearing a thick coat with long sleeves and gloves. Picking up a bat without gloves endangers you and the bat. If you have to catch a bat in your home, wait for the bat to land, then cover the bat with a box. Slide a sturdy piece of cardboard between the box and the wall slowly, allowing the bat to detach from the wall and enter the box. If you must kill the bat, do not sever the head from the body. If the head is not attached or the neck and nervous system have been damaged, the state lab cannot accurately test for rabies and you and your family may have to undergo rabies treatment. It is crucial when trying to remove a bat or to capture a bat in your home that you do not have any contact with bat because that would be considered a bat exposure. If the bat has bitten any person or pet in your home or the bat was in a room with unsupervised children or pets, you can take it to a veterinarian to be euthanized. The bat must be sent to the state lab for rabies testing. If you, your family, or your pets have had a bat exposure, you can bring the dead bat directly to the Winnebago County Health Department and they will send it to the state lab for testing. If you are unsure if your encounter with a bat constitutes a bat exposure that would require rabies testing, please call the health department at 920-232-3000. To dispose of the bat, it must be in a durable container, like a Tupperware or a laundry detergent bottle, something that its claws can't get through. Put the container in its own garbage bag and then dispose of it in your normal garbage bin. We do not recommend plastic bags or garbage bags because the bat's claws can cut through thin material. The Winnebago County Health Department does not go to homes and remove bats. To learn more about bats and the proper removal of them from your home, go to the Wisconsin DNR website.